Well, hey, this is uh, Chase Swift, and you probably just typed into Google or YouTube, what, qualifi what qualifications do you need to be a wildlife photographer? And so I know people search on this on YouTube and Google and other search engines, so I thought I would just share my experience because I am a professional wildlife photographer. And frankly, the answer to the question is you just need to have a desire to uh, photograph wildlife and you that uh, you enjoy wildlife like I do um, and that you want to get good at photographing them in all their glory and wonder and beautiful uh, detail okay so that's really the key now you'll need to work at it and get really captivating uh, storytelling images that almost want, like this hippopotamus wants to say something right that's kind of what you want an image that says something that it can conveys a, a concept here like the see no evil hear no evil speak no evil and yes that's c controlled that did not happen in the wild but uh, sometimes you can get very good creative images in controlled situations like this grizzly bear and sometimes you just take you know what you get in wildlife and nature and the beauty of nature and the beautifully beautiful wildlife that you see uh, this is in alaska it's a wild eagle it's not captive it's or anything like that um so is this as well so here's the thing you're gonna be learning and i should have mentioned this at the beginning what i'm going to do is show you or suggest to you that while you're working on your wildlife photography that you work on a secondary income as well because you have an advantage that I don't have when I started in 1985. You have the internet and you have and I have found ways to make income on the internet, a secondary income. By the way, these uh, geese, one of my best selling images by far. Uh, and it's uh, very, well, a little bit of luck, but just being at the right place at the right time and, you know, getting up early and all that good stuff. So, um, and then you can go to zoos and uh, photograph some really interesting details. A lot of times these are used for backgrounds in advertising and editorial uh, work. So, um, you, there's, the sky is a limit. And, yeah, sure, you can even get creative on the computer. It allows me to be a little more uh, competitive when I can create a very eye-catching, ca captivating image that I'm not saying this is real life, but I'm saying it's a conceptual image of how owls at night can see very well. And that's what that image says. Uh, so that's what I do here. And I, I just want to encourage you that if wildlife photography is your passion, that you get out there and do your best and, and enjoy it and get good images and you'll get better every day, every year, um, and just keep at it. And, but in the meantime, I want you to take my advice and learn how to make a secondary income on the internet. Something, I might add, that is completely automatic, completely, so that you can uh, concentrate on your photography, but make an income to be able to travel, to be able to afford the uh, equipment, to be able to afford the software and the computers and whatever you need to make your images best, to edit them, all these things uh, cost money, okay? And you know that. So doesn't it make sense to learn how to be a great wildlife photographer, of course, but also how to earn a secondary income while you're building your library of images that you can sell, okay? Then once you have that library, it's gonna you're going to be like me, or you can be, where your images are selling online or through magazines and books and calendars and you're enjoying your passion and actually your secondary income as well. Okay, so I'm just showing some examples of my work, uh, images that I've taken over the last 20 years because I love wildlife. I, it's, it's just, it's so beautiful and it's so compelling to be out there in wildlife in national parks where this was taken in Yellowstone um, and uh, see these beautiful animals and they're so awesome and I just love photographing them and captivating images when they're yawning and all that good stuff. Action really sells by the way so make sure 
you know, a nice portrait is okay, but action says a lot more, says a lot more. So try to look for images that are very action oriented. This is sold multiple times, by the way. And it was taken in the San Diego Zoo, okay? So you don't have to travel to Africa and all that stuff. I mean, that's expensive. Now, uh, this is an image, by the way, that I shot in my home, okay? Took a pan of water. It's only a couple inches. It's not even an inch deep. Painted it black, okay? Uh, just a little cookie sheet. Painted it black. Uh, so you get a dark color, and it looks like it's in a pond. Put the frog in there, and yes, he jumped out there several times. But after a while, he kind of he realized he was okay, and he just sat there. Meanwhile, I'm getting absolutely tack sharp, beautiful images of an animal in its habitat, but it's in my living room. Okay, basically. Okay, but I also got and go out to the you know national parks and places where you see wildlife, you know, and things like that. So uh, these are the things that I enjoy, but. Guess what? When I was taking all these pictures, I was using film. Uh, I had to buy lenses. I had to travel. I had to process the images. Now it's digital, of course, which is a lot better. But you still are going to have expenses. Thus, the need for a way to make a, a secondary income. Now, I'm going to switch over uh, and just show you some examples of people that are doing the business that I am. And it's it's totally automated. So when I talk about you being automated, your business being automated, you're getting customers automatically. This is really, really cool. And I'm, that's why I'm sharing this. So I'm going to show you people that frankly are, you know, real ordinary people. I mean, look at Jean. Does she look like a sophisticated internet marketer? No, she's a home network marketer and she got 41 customers for her business. In the same way that I do. Okay, Jesse? Do you think Jesse looks like a... Uh, it could be. I mean, it's a, you know interesting profile and this and that. But look at this. Uh, getting how many customers? Six new customers. Okay? And it's on autopilot. Completely on autopilot. So you'll be able to uh, be photography... You know, do your photography without being pulled away from that. Okay? So eight customers here from Russ. Okay? I could go on and on. Here's Anne. Uh, she got 14 new customers. These are with, This is like an hour ago. So these people are getting results all the time. Here's nine customers. She gave a screenshot. So this is a business, and you're gonna you can find out more about this. But here's uh, Mel. Do you think he looks like a internet marketer? He looks like a tough guy actually, <laughs> but he's an average guy. So three hours ago, he posted in our Facebook group. You got four customers, okay, with this automated system. Okay, eight new customers, okay, awesome. And on and on. So, again, I love photography and I want to, you know, be out there and photograph. But I'm telling you, it takes a lot of money sometimes to get it out there and get the equipment and be traveling. And I'm just telling you, it's, it's worth looking into a system, a, uh, a way to make a secondary income where you get customers, you don't even know, you don't even know, you don't even have to know what you're doing, okay? So, I appreciate you checking this out and looking at some of my wildlife. I gave you some tips on uh, some of the photographs that I've taken, like the, the leopard frog here. And I just encourage you to go after your passion. But in the meantime, there will be a link to a uh, information page where you can subscribe with your email i'll send you some information then you and i can get together and decide if this is a fit for you is this going to work for you and it's going to be really exciting because this uh this secondary income works on autopilot so you don't have to be uh particularly good at anything you just have to be involved so i uh, appreciate you watching this video would love a like and a positive comment, if you would. And then uh, hopefully we'll look forward to connecting and I can show you how I'm earning uh, secondary income uh, while I do my wildlife photography. This is Chase Swift. Have a great day. Bye for now.